actually, good afternoon. It's uh, 12.06, broadcasting live today from Captain's Cove. And uh, this, of course, is the Port Jefferson Ferry WICC 600 Greatest Bluefish Tournament on Earth. I'm Tony Reno here with the Italian House Party. And uh, we're here for a little while longer, and then New York Yankee Baseball is going to take over. Now, uh, with me here is uh, Dennis Habza, and uh, Dennis is with Squalish Marine. And uh, hello to you, Dennis. How you doing? How you doing, Tony? Thanks uh, for having me. All right. It's always a pleasure to... Uh, to meet new people. Squalus Marine, what's it all about? Tell us about it. Well, Squalus Marine, I've been, uh, I'm, I grew up in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and, uh, you know, when I got, I bought a boat about 11 years ago, and I started to do everything I could on a boat, you know, fishing and so on and so forth, and after I learned that I didn't know how to fish, um, I decided <laughs> to get into scuba diving, and uh, I've been doing that ever since. Um, about five years ago, we started filming our dives in the sound, and we edit them, and we put them together, right. almost like a produced show, and uh, we try to promote the sport of scuba diving in, in, as a viable activity on a local level uh, in the Northeast. Most people don't think you can scuba dive in the sound, but contrary to what most people think, it's definitely something that can, you know, can be done. It, what's it like in, in the Long Island Sound when you're down there? Well, what I tell people in regards to the Long Island Sound is uh, being in the Long Island Sound or diving in the Long Island Sound is a lot like being in a troubled relationship. <laughs> you know, some days are better than others. A lot of second chances and you don't want right. to give up. Uh, there's been times that we've had 20 feet of visibility, and there's been times that we've had completely no visibility. Right. It really is determined by the substrate, the weather, the moon, the current, the amount of runoff, that you know how much snow we get or how much rain we get that really does affect the sound. The sound is an estuary. It's not really like an ocean or a lake. Right. So it behaves very differently, and a lot of the currents and the moon and things really are factors in regards to visibility. But there's actually a lot of really cool stuff you can see. That scuba diving, is that something that anybody could do? Is it for anybody? You'd really be surprised. Um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of dive shops that have something that's called intro to scuba. And it's in, an, in a situation where they will, they will rent a pool, and then you sign up. It's basically for a person who's on the fence to kick the tires. Right. So they'll put you in the water with an instructor, and you can kind of go through the motions. It's not a certification process, but it's an, a chance for you to kind of explore and, and see how you really feel with it. But, and it's in a controlled environment and things like that. Okay. But, uh, you know, most people, I mean, there, there's a lot of people who were, you know, back in the 80s and, you know, even the 70s that really got into it, and they're still doing it, mm -hmm. you know. So, um you know, it's it's difficult right now because it's 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 a generational gap. There's no Jacques Cousteau on TV right. promoting it and things like that. Right. So it's not reaching a lot of people, and that's part of why what we're doing is to try to share what we love so much with the public. Okay, all right. We're talking with uh, Dennis, Dennis Habza, and he's with Squalus Marine. We're uh, talking a little bit about uh, scuba diving. What, what, what can you tell us about the shipwrecks? Well, there's a, a considerable amount of shipwrecks, and I've uh, concentrated predominantly on the western part of the sound, but there are ships... Um, all over the sound, there's a ton of shipwrecks that you, you would never even think of because really? it's pretty much under the water. There's a shipwreck in Huntington Bay in Long Island called the Gwendolyn Steers that was actually, the hull of that ship is created by the original ballast of the USS Constitution. And that's that's right there. It's, 20, it's, it's 50 feet of water and it's 22 feet to the wreck. Um, there's a, a World War I ship uh, in, off of Penfield, uh, Penfield Light. Um, there's a, a considerable amount of just commercial traffic that's gone down. You keep in mind, the Long Island Sound is a protected channel in and out of New York City. You know, during you know the Revolutionary War and things like that. Yeah. So there's 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 a British frigate out uh, north North Forks of Long Island. Come on. That's protected. Um, there's um, the Erie Canal boat right in Bridgeport Harbor next to the train station that's on the uh, Federal Registry of Protected Historical Sites. I mean, there's a really a lot of history underwater that no one's aware of because there's no place to put a sign. There's no right. there's no place to put a marker. It's all water and it's underneath and you know there's people driving over these sites and they just they'll never know about it unless you know somebody goes down and films it. Now you've seen all of this up close. Yeah pretty much and it can all be seen on our website which is squalusmarine.com S-Q-U-A-L-U-S. We have an interactive dive map which will allow you like you just like any other Google map that you use you can zoom in and zoom out and see all the wrecks pretty much where they are. They're not 100% perfectly plotted but they are there. We have a strict confidentiality policy with fishermen who will give us shipwrecks that we weren't aware of and right. we'll film them so they can see it yeah but we don't release the numbers because it's their fishing spot wow that's that's great that's interesting that really is wow now if if you wanted to get certified what what what, what do you have to go through to get the certification well the certification requires some classroom work and some pool work and then you do an open water certification it's you know it's it's not really a super difficult process um i don't necessarily uh do certifications myself but again, if you go to our website, uh, squallsmarine.com, we, we, we've been working with local dive shops that are, are 
kind of on board with the message, and they like to, um, what we do is we, we film videos of their dive facilities. So if you go to our website, you can click in and check all the different shops that we work with, and you can see their shops. And uh, if you're interested in diving, we definitely encourage you to go that route and, and speak to those folks because they're more than capable of fulfilling whatever dive services you need. Wow. Now, what is, what's the most interesting thing that you've seen in, uh, the, in the Actually, sound? yesterday we did a dive in the sound, and we filmed an uh, aircraft, a completely intact airplane, in about 100 feet of water. And um, we haven't, it obviously happened yesterday, but we haven't produced the video yet. That'll be out probably in about a week's time. So we encourage you, if you're interested in seeing an airplane underwater in the Long Island Sound, to come back and check out our website. Wow, Dennis, that's very, very interesting stuff. I, I, I got to tell you, now if people want to see these, these videos that you've made, what, what can they do? Um, well, they can go to the website and they can do two options. Uh, we have the dive archive, which all the videos are laid out. So you can just kind of scroll down through the pages and click on the ones you want to watch. Um, also, you could use the interactive dive map, and also, if you don't want to miss anything, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is under Squalus Marine, and if you subscribe, you'll get an email every time something new comes out, so you won't miss any of the I action. Okay. Jeez, we got to bring that Jacques Cousteau back on, on, on TV. Those were great things. Those, those really were. There's just so much stuff, and, and you've got a lot of ships out there that are looking for treasure, and there's just so many different, you know, avenues to go in, a, in, a, you know, in regards to, like, what we do. There's an environmental quotient. There's a... Um, there's the aspect of uh, the history and, you know, the documentation. You know, we went uh, and dove yesterday, and, and the water was considerably warm, probably the warmest I have ever seen. And I wasn't. it was 72 degrees at 100 hmm. feet, wow. which is extremely warm. Right. So I don't know what's going on with the weather, but that's a factor. <laughs> wow, that's good. Now, what's your website if people want to uh, see things? It's www S Q U A L U S M A R I N E dot com. Okay, one more time. Give us that. S Q U A L U S M A R I N E dot com. And we encourage you, if you can follow along with us on Facebook or on there, Squalus Marine as well, and uh, also on Instagram. All right. Anything else you want to cover before we let you go? Uh, just, uh, you know, I, I love diving, and I think that, you know, if more people had a little bit more information, I think more people would do it. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Dennis, I thank you so much for, thank you for having me. taking a few minutes. That's uh, uh, Dennis Hasbet, and uh, that's with Squalus Marine. Uh, good stuff. Thank you so very much. And thanks for the T-shirt. Yep. Thank All right, my much. friend. Where All right. Very good. Bye -bye. Thanks so much. All right. It's the Italian House Party. we got a few minutes left. Left here before we